Welcome back. This tutorial will explain IT governance. IT governance is defined as an integral part of enterprise governance. So let us try and understand what is enterprise governance. Enterprise governance is about leadership. It's about the leadership setting a vision. So let's call it the strategic direction. From the strategic direction evolve the organizational objectives. To achieve these objectives, we have an organization structure. Each position in the organization structure has a particular role and responsibilities and they make use of processes to achieve the organizational vision. So enterprise governance is about leadership. It's about setting a strategic vision. From the strategic vision, we derive the organizational objectives. The objectives are achieved through an organization structure. And then we, for each role in the organization structure, we have responsibilities. So an enterprise governance is about leadership setting an organizational vision and objectives, creating an organization structure with roles and responsibilities to achieve the same. IT governance is the same thing. So why do we have something called IT governance and not finance governance or HR governance or marketing governance, manufacturing governance? There are a few reasons why IT governance has evolved as a field of its own. The first reason is that IT in most organizations accounts for a major portion or in many cases is the second largest beneficiary of the costs. The largest beneficiary being the staff. Or if I were to reword it, of the total revenues, the IT accounts for the second largest portion of the budget. So that's reason number one. The second reason why IT governance has evolved in a field of its own is, IT has always been considered as a geek technical field with the non-IT people having difficulty in understanding it because of which it was relegated as a separate entity and it was difficult for the non-IT people, the executives, to understand as to what IT was actually doing. The end result was that IT many a times was considered as a black hole where you put in a lot of investments and you don't get what you expect from those investments. The reason for this lack of getting back a return on interest from IT is twofold. One is the executives not being able to understand what IT does. And second is IT not being able to translate what they do into business terms. Moreover, not being able to create a business case for the value that IT provides. That is reason two. And the third reason is IT in itself has become so complex that governing it by governance, I mean transparency and clarity in what IT does in creating value is very difficult. So we have IT governance as a separate field, but the bottom line is IT governance is a part of enterprise governance and it should be because IT cannot exist on its own. 
IT exists for a reason and the reason is to enable the business processes to achieve the objectives as per the strategic vision. With that as the backdrop, let us proceed as to what are the various aspects of IT governance. The first and the most important as aspect is that the IT should align with the organize with the organization or with the business. So we have strategic alignment as a first objective. <coughs> The second is having a line is not sufficient. Is IT actually able to create the value based on the value proposition for which the investments were made in IT? So we have the second domain which is the value. Is value being created? The third is okay, value is being created, but at what risk? In IT, one different portion of IT is that typically in an IT project the end objective is not very clear to the end user. Therefore investments are made at the beginning of the IT project assuming a hazy or a fuzzy vision of the end objective and as IT progresses further down the IT project life cycle the end user requirements emerge clearer and better. Therefore, after value delivery, the third concept is what is the risk and how are the risks being managed? So we have value delivery over here and the third domain is risk management. The fourth domain after risk management is you are achieving value by controlling risks, but at what costs? So what we are talking of is resource management. And the last and the most important is, how are we actually measuring the creation of value at an optimal cost, which is performance measurement? So these are the five domains of IT and all of them have corresponding counterparts with the business domains. I conclude this tutorial over here and we will address each one of them in the succeeding tutorials. Thank you for listening and please be back.